Nation, it's Jasmine and I'm back today with another video. So today's video is going to be part one of a three-part series of money saving tips, tricks, and all that good stuff. So this idea was actually started by a series of popular videos that have been going around on YouTube as well as me sitting back and reflecting on my New Year's resolution. So usually mid-year I try to look at my New Year's resolutions and be like, oh my gosh, what am I doing good? What am I slacking on? Usually I'm slacking on weight loss. We're still in that same predicament. But one of my biggest goals for this year was also to increase my savings account. And although I have been doing decent, it's just not to the point of my goal. So I had a goal and I'm not there yet. And I honestly thought that I would be there before the, the middle of the year. Um, and I'm not there yet. So I'm like, okay, I need to sit back and reevaluate things. Okay. But then I also saw this popular video that was going around. And it is basically like um, my biggest luxury purchase regrets. It is basically where people sit there. Siri just be randomly talking about I didn't catch that because I wasn't talking to you okay so basically the video is just a lot of people um, who are talking about big purchases that they made that they really regret it goes anywhere from cars to like Yeezys to bags and I was like I am not really a person who purchases um, expensive bags or shoes and things like that because I am just not a bad girl and I like backpack purses I'm so glad those came back in style because it just fits my style more I am more of your t-shirt graphic tee ripped up jeans tennis shoes or slides like majority of the time that's what you'll catch me in if it's cold you'll catch me in a hoodie and a coat um I don't really I'm not like your fashionista girl right with that being said I saw a lot of people saying that they were regretting these big bad purchases if you did not know, my birthday was in July and I wanted a bag. I wanted this cute backpack purse. It's a little itty bitty, teeny bitty purse, um, but it's super cute. I saw Nicole Guerrero do a What's in My Tiny Backpack Purse video. And then literally like a week later, Jazz Jackson over on Instagram, she used to do hair videos here. And now she is the owner and creator of Jade Sculpt. She posted a picture over on Instagram in this like dope jumper with these Louis Vuitton boots and this same Louis Vuitton backpack purse. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be my birthday gift to myself, right? So I went on to Louis Vuitton. I looked it up. It was $1,200. And I was like, okay, this is, this is going to be my gift to myself. I never buy myself really like expensive bags. And this is a backpack purse. So I know I use it all the time. I was like, I am... I'm going to get it. Like, I'm going to get it. That thing is super hard to find. So, it is something that I guess was like a seasonal bag. And now it's like just super hard to find. And I was super bummed. I was like, oh my gosh, I really wanted this bag. And I was like, let me go and find some of these like secondhand sale sites because I know those are out there like where people buy bags and then they don't use them anymore so they sell them secondhand. It's at a discounted price but it's still going to be expensive so instead of $1,200 it might have been a grand. And I came across this girl's channel. Can't remember her name because y'all know I can never remember anybody's name. Uh, I hope if, I'll leave her video below. She is super super funny and so cute and um, she basically had this purse. This The, the same bag was in her um her thumbnail and I was like oh okay click clicked on it real quick it was a dupe bag so like a replica a knockoff whatever you want to call it right and I was like where does she get this bag tell me why she got it from AliExpress so if you guys are not new to YouTube you know back in the day everybody used to do AliExpress hair reviews I literally haven't heard anything else about AliExpress since back then when everybody was getting their bundles from AliExpress. Now there's so many like entrepreneur CEO that sell their own hair and their own bundles and all this other stuff. You don't really see AliExpress being talked about anymore. So I literally haven't been on the site since like maybe what two years ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, okay, AliExpress, let me find out y'all trying to come through with the dupes for the bags. So I go on there and I order it. I was like, if it comes and it's a dub, like, I'll take the L and 
I'll find out where I can get this bag because at this point I'm like I really really want this bag right so it came in and I'm gonna share it with you guys today before I show this I want to tell you guys I know some of you guys are out there and you're like anti replica bags anti um, knockoffs like I don't care it's a bag whatever it's not that big of a deal whatever okay so for those of you who are like that don't come for me uh because you will be blocked okay i was just like let me check out and see if this bag is cute okay and it's something that is like not too much of a knockoff that i can walk around with and it'll be cute and it'll be a whole lot cheaper than what i was gonna pay for the real thing right oh this is cute <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I'm going to put up the the real bag picture right here. Look how cute it is. It's so small and tiny. Like this is like to me this is this is a bag, right? I I'm not a bag person. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, let me see um where the fuck are the strings? Are they in here? Here. They're inside of the bag this is so cute and i think i only spent like 40 dollars on it <laughs> oh it even has the little studs like the little gold studs on the um, backpack strap has the little fake louis vuitton logo right here on the on the little key thing i don't care if y'all are anti like fake bags be anti fake bags because sis I just spent $40 on a bag I was going to spend $1,200 on and it's super cute like this is so cute you can't put a lot of stuff in here but um it's a little like bent up right here just of how it was packaged but you can fill it up and oh that is so cute so from $1,200 to $40 the rest of that money that I was going to spend is now going to go into my savings account. <laughs> before, like I said, before any of y'all come for me, yes, I will rock this because it's so stinking cute. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so glad I found her channel. Maybe that was, it was like not meant for me to be able to purchase this bag initially, right? <laughs> I was gonna spend twelve hundred dollars on this bag and I end up giving it for getting it for 40 so the rest of that money is actually gonna go into my savings account I'm so excited that I was able to get this bag that's so cute I don't care if it's a knockoff I don't care if it's a fake like I said I'm not a bad girl if you are into bags and that's your thing and you have twelve hundred to five grand to spend on a bag then by all means do you boo but for me bags are really not that serious so if I have a knockoff I don't care to rock a knockoff if I can put the remainder of that money into my savings account because Murphy's Law is a thing what can go wrong will go wrong and most likely will go wrong at a very inconvenient time and you would rather have a nice emergency fund or savings fund for if there is an emergency or if there's like a trip that your girls want to go on to or if you just want to get away do a self pamper me day just whatever you need spare money to do if things just go wrong in a relationship and you want to leave you're you have a nice cushion of money to fall back on like me and you don't care about if a bag is real or not because it's not like i'm gonna be on like instagram like look at my 1200 dollars louis vuitton bag that's that's not me anyways 1160 dollars in my savings account because i got a knockoff like that that's that doesn't bother me at all and another thing is right now um another thing that's in are the press on nails those are in those will cost you anywhere between like 6.99 to 30 whereas if you're going to get your nails done acrylics that can cost you anywhere between 60 to 100 dollars depending on where you're going there are ways where you can still be cute you can look good you can be balling on a budget you can be barbie on a budget you can be a baddie on a budget whatever you want to call it on a budget um as long as you're okay with that lifestyle i don't sit out here trying to portray a lifestyle that is bigger than what really my life is like i said hence this purse which is what i really wanted to show you guys is that i just saved 
$1160 by buying a knockoff like I don't care who don't like it guess what I have $1160 that is now just sitting in my savings account in my savings account getting stacked so I'm super excited that I was able to find her video she has tons and tons of replica dupe hand expensive handbag video so once again I like I said I will leave her video below and I just saved a whole bunch of money okay so the next video is actually going to be me exactly like this but it is going to be a tips and tricks on ways to save your money so if you're interested make sure to thumbs this video up make sure you subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss tomorrow's video and then the third video is going to be a budget with me so yeah, I got some I got some content coming from you guys. It's a little different, but I'm mean, we're just out here trying to live our best lives all the way around. Okay? So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave it below. And until the next video, don't forget to stay boss up and conquer. Bitch, better have my money. Y'all should know me where.